and this is here. Hey guys. Hey, how are you? Let me turn, let me open here right now on my computer, the live, in order for me to see your questions because um, I tried last time and someone was like telling me this very late. So I'm gonna open it here right now. Welcome, join to the live guys. Uh, we'll see how many people we're gonna have here. I'm always nervous about live on YouTube because I feel like it's so important. It's so like more deep than live on um... Shimanka, chesh, chesh, chesh. <clears throat> uh, pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, I appreciate it. I feel like, um, don't forget to put big thumb up guys. We're we'll always starting so in order to for this YouTube. I feel like you look, you see me right, right? You see me good. Hey David, hey Joe. Very nice to see you here. Hey, Sanser man. Uh, I feel like you guys see me okay, right? It's it's good lighting or you think I should put a little bit more? Maybe I should put, like, what do you think if I'll do this? Is it too much light or it's, um, or you think I should lower it if you were here before? Looks, sounds good. Okay, sounds good, looks good. It's me from TikTok, <laughs> nice. Looks good, sounds good. Yeah, we'll see uh, how many people we're gonna have tonight. Yes, that's better. Okay, if it, that's better, it's good. I, I, I got some lights, uh, so it's, hey, the new lights arrived, looks good. Yes, I don't know who got them for me, but I just wanna thank you guys again. Um, I don't know, if someone got it for me from Amazon wishlist, and I really appreciate it. Like, this is very, very nice. Um, like the lights, high, very good sound. Okay, very good sound. And this is iPhone. This is not even a microphone or something like this. A little bright on a face. Uh, I see, like, I know what you're talking. I feel like this is better. I feel like this is better, right? It's not perfect and it's better on camera than it's like looks on the computer. But like I say, I'm very new to this live streams on uh, YouTube. It takes a lot more effort. And, uh, you know, um, yes, better. It takes a lot more effort for sure here. How are you? How's your day going? My day ain't going good. So I was just saying, I'm always nervous doing a live stream on YouTube because YouTube is something that I always wanted to do. And TikTok is much chill because people come and go and YouTube is actually where you can build connection with people, you know, like where actually talk to people and then not when just people come for one minute, five seconds, or like 30 seconds, and they leave. That's why I was like, I always say, come to YouTube live, because we can get each other better. And I feel like YouTube is like more intimate than TikTok, I think. <coughs> bonjour, Niklas, bonjour. Thank you guys who's joining here. Don't forget to put big thumb up. Yes, and I was saying, I got the slide from Amazon wishlist, and I uh, really appreciate it. It's like, very, very nice. I did not expect someone's gonna get me anything from Amazon wishlist, so I don't know who it's from, but thank you. Um, okay, guys, since we're here, I don't know how many people we're gonna get, but um, we'll see how many people we're gonna get. You see, like, it's so weird. I'm, like, not in the middle. I don't know how many people we're gonna get. Last time we had, like, around 40 people, and we had less, well, less subscribers for sure, but we'll see. Uh, can you guys tell me where are you from? I know some people here who are always here, so I know them, but I'm just curious. And uh, if you guys f found me from um, YouTube or you found me from TikTok or Instagram, because a lot of people here from TikTok too or from Instagram, you know. It's 11 p.m. in London. Okay, Nicholas is from London. I'm from Utah, I always watch your TikTok lives. Uh, from TikTok, from Croatia. From TikTok, from Croatia. <coughs> it shows a lot of me here. Georgia in the US. I'm from Plano, North Carolina. Georgia in the US. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Okay, so some people just, wait, just David. Just David, I don't think you're the first time ever seen me. I did a short live on TikTok. I said your name and told everyone, go watch your, thank you, Christopher. This is very nice. 
follow from YouTube only. I also from Texas. I'm in San Antonio. Yeah, a lot of people like find me from YouTube organically, which is very nice because viewers on TikTok and viewers on YouTube, they're very different. So have you come to London yet, mister? No, I really want to go, but your visa guys is uh, not the easiest one to get to, but I'll get, I'll go there very soon, maybe. Turkey found your, Turkey found your other YouTube channel in the first place. Really? You found my first uh, YouTube channel, Polish one? In LA, I saw you on YouTube. Okay, Mark, how is LA now? <clears throat> Just shared live on Twitter. Thank you, thank you for sharing and uh, thank you for big thumb ups. I never ask about this, but I ask about this on YouTube live because this is how YouTube works. The more thumb ups, the more algorithm pushes you, so. Just shared your live, have you come to London? Um, so someone found from YouTube, I'm from Minnesota, Christopher is from Minnesota. I know Christopher was here on YouTube lives as well. The reason I'm watching also like on this um, computer, cause it's very hard for me to see, saw your coming out video on YouTube, followed you since then. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, I tab Ukraine vs Poland on YouTube, then your video came up. Really? I think I wanna do something like this on here, but it's getting better in LA. Do you guys have more work now? Is it open? Some places are more open now or not? <clears throat> from Tallinn in Estonia, from YouTube. And when you found me on YouTube, did you guys look for a specific video in search or you guys uh, actually found me in suggestions or like on, my, on your page? Ohio here. Okay, Joe, I know you're from Ohio. I know you from Ohio. I already remember this. Uh, is the warm, is this the warm life? This is the cozy and warm life we have tonight. You know? This is a chill life. Hi, baby, how are you doing? You're looking good. Thank you so much, Alex. I'm doing well. I have some allergies, sore throat, but besides this, from Sydney, Australia, found you on TikTok. Someone said on my comments, like, people on TikTok are only like 15 years old. That's not true, guys. People on comments right now, people on TikTok right now is like 30, 50, 50 40, 60, all ages. So, you know, okay, let me put myself thumb up. Still outdoor dining, mask required, and all the time I can wait until it's over. You see, this is so weird because in Texas, since I moved here, <laughs> everything was the same. I mean, they closed something, but. Oh, you see, we got someone who is 14 here, so... But I also put the restrictions, so... Alexburg here. Alex, where are you from? I, I was just asking people where are you guys from, and uh, I'm 19. So we, we got younger people. I love your accent, thank you. This is the warmest life, Robert Bolis. Uh, Texas is about to remove all mask restrictions. Really? All mask restrictions we're about to remove? We got someone 73 years old, which is very cool. Luckily in London, vaccination are rolling out and lockdown is easing in next two months. I don't believe TikTok thought you were but like 12. I'm 26. We have a different age. Las Vegas, Nevada, dude, hi. Uh, hey, 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 Christopher, I'm almost 38. I have different age range and that's what I like. Because I would rather have 20% uh, a different, different age range because it's like so much more interesting. You can ex exchange with people much more, you know, in other ages, you know, like I'm from Australia. I want to watch this TV show that called Queer as a Folk. So it's like about gay people in 200s, uh, right? Two, 2000s, wherever. Queer as a Folk. If you guys watch me, let me know. It's about like the gay world when it used to be. Okay, so Governor Ball will remove probably by Easter. So we will not have to wear a mask in restaurants as well. Lithuania, you would like that show. Partially opening in Denmark next week. Stores will open again. I thought Denmark, oh no, it was Sweden, one of the countries that ne never really closed, right? How old a guy would you date? I think it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, I think if someone who is gonna be so much older, I would probably have less in common with them. But, you know, I don't know, I don't put an agenda about it. I saw this YouTube channel of guys and they're dating and they have a 
age difference like 25 years old or something like this and they're fine you know no mask well no mask it's something very new you know I'm impressed how fast you learn English. It was definitely not fast. I was learning English for all my life and watching a bunch of TV shows and listening to the songs. So it was definitely a learning process. It was not, you know, the best. My last name is pronounced like Bowles. Bowles. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry if I didn't say it right. Have you checked your Insta stats before? Which age group you're... Uh, you see, Insta is different than YouTube. YouTube, I have... Uh, Insta I have mostly 25, 35, 35, 45, something like this. From 25 to 45, Insta is like the majority of people. More um, more older people, I have YouTube. <laughs> we have to wear masks everywhere. You speak English very well, thank you. Have you got a rainbow fast mask? No, I don't ever actually have it. I didn't think about getting this. I have a rainbow flag, so uh, yeah. I feel like it's finally comfortable because last time I was not prepared for YouTube live. I was like literally um, going around the room. It was Valentine's Day and I'm glad we did Valentine's Day because next day I got no light, no power, no internet, nothing. My last name is Bezrukavenka. Can you guys pronounce it? Bezrukavenka. Someone got a rainbow mask here. I love your rainbow flags. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to put big thumb up, guys, if you just joined. Welcome to our warm life. We're just talking, spending time together here, getting to know each other. You guys can ask some questions and, uh, you know, uh, just some basic gay shit. Not necessarily gay. It's not only, you know, I got a rainbow face mask. I love your rainbow flag. Say your last name. I did say it, David. So it was uh, Bezrukavenko. Love your rainbow flag tic tacs. Yeah, I put them here. I feel like it's kind of cool. I feel like it's so much. When I posted my um, TikTok in front of the Chick Fil A, can you feel Texas is home? Yes or no? Yes, I can feel it home. I like it here. It's very nice, and it's uh, it's it feels like I achieved so much here while I was being exactly here. Because in other cities, I was pressured so much because I had to work since I was very young, right? And uh, when I when I moved to US. Do you have a kin group? No, no. When I moved to US, I've been always here alone by myself, you know? And uh, like, you cannot like, how long you will stay in Austin? I don't know. For a long time, probably. And I was like, you cannot like, some people who are like 20, 25, you know, even 30 years old, they have this option. Oh, I can go back home if something is gonna happen, you know? And uh, I never have this, uh, you know, option. And I was like, not secure, I would say. I was kind of secure in Chicago because uh, I was living um, and I had, I made a good friend who is, uh, who is also older. He was 61 years old, he was my manager and he was my friend, like very nice friend. He taught me a lot. Um, the ATM TikTok was pretty cool. I like it too. The last, uh, okay, gay talk, everyone get gay rainbow flag. How many years you live in Texas? I lived here for almost a year. And uh, yes, and when I lived in Chicago and now in Austin, so I, I was like kind of secure in Chicago, but then I moved to LA and it was terrible. And then I came back and then I came back to, and then I moved to Austin. I feel Austin it was like the most secure place I've been to. I I get super lucky here. I don't know. Like I feel that I am super lucky guy. I mean, it's not only it comes from nowhere. It comes from a lot of stress and work, you know, but yeah, those rainbow flags TikToks are super inspirational. You always make me happy. Thank you. Someone must jinx you with their eyes on Valentine's Day. I mean, Nazar. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, sorry. Do you enjoy being a cowboy? So cowboy look, I like it a lot. But it's a lot of people think I never wore boots or something like this. But I actually did because I went to dance school when I was like... 10 to 15 years old or 9 to 15 years old and we were wearing this kind of looks all the time and I remember how uncomfortable because we were dancing and we we're going on competitions and I remember how uncomfortable was wearing these boots and dancing it was super like not comfortable at all let me put some music here I would put some popular music but I want to do copyright free music just in case, you know, TikTok or YouTube are not gonna ban us. What would be your favorite date? I don't really care. Like, I don't care about date. 
I had the very, very different dates now. I had some experience. I have more experience definitely than I used to be. At least you have gone through the worst what you could in Texas, always up now. You never know. I never expected it's gonna be like, do you miss your family? I do. I miss my family, but I didn't see my mom for almost four years already. And um, she, when I talk to her every day, like it's just, we should not think about this. You know, we're trying to don't think that it's been four years almost. It's just, uh, you can't change it. The reason is like, cause it takes a lot of time to get all the document stuff and everything and green card. So that's why it took a long time. Are you going to film your best dates video, which I asked you for? So Nicholas, I'm gonna post, I really appreciate also, I wanna, this is very sincere message. I wanna appreciate, like we have 34 people here and it's awesome, you know? And I wanna say thank you guys. I see some people, I'm trying to respond to YouTube comments all of them, like if you notice or no, but uh, sometimes I'm just lazy and like, you know, there was apocalypse, then it was like a bad day, then it was like thirst road, or there was like, so I just wanna say thank you guys for like constantly like um, commenting videos, cause it helps a lot. And I am gonna do this. Austin is a great city to live in, you're lucky. What power, what, I'm from Austin, I'm in Austin, Texas right now. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna upload this and next week I'm gonna upload probably almost every day because I have so many stories and I like doing this because I wanted, I always wanted to do YouTube, but you know, it's also, Nazar is also my name in Russian, Ukrainian, Polish. Nazar, привет, Nazar. Do you also believe in? I, I understand the name Nazar because uh, I had uh, some people who, are, you often respond to me, I'm impressed and I'm touched. Yeah, I'm trying to respond to all the people, you know, as long, because I feel like it's necessarily, like, I feel it's important to have a connection with people. It's less on TikTok for sure, but here on YouTube, it's more important. That's why, like, I really appreciate, especially some people, like, comment all single video, and this is so helpful. It's very nice. <clears throat> hey, Rug the Game. Do you have tic Do you have any nicknames? So my nickname when I was in high school was Lukan, Lekang, Likang. It was the guy from Mortal Kombat. I still can't believe I see Ukrainian guys smiling. I, I heard this before, I heard this before, yeah. If you could go anywhere in the USA or the USA, where would you go? Please give the guy a thumb up, he's great and his videos are great, answering everyone their life. Thank you so much, Alex, I appreciate it for a nice comment. Uh, everyone should go comment, like, subscribe, art video on YouTube, instant TikTok. Thank you. Uh, love you from Kansas. Very nice gay club in Vaco. I'm where they're in the army at Fort Hood. Austin is found, but born, raised to be a San Antonio is a great city too. So I'm answering the questions here. Um, if you could go anywhere in the USA or not in the USA, where would you go? <sighs> First, I want to go to Barcelona, Spain. Then I wanna go to, uh, I wanna go to Poland first of all, cause I haven't been in Poland for a while. I wanna go to Luk yeah, Liu Kang. Yes, it was my last, it was my nickname in high school. Artyom, have you found anyone special in your life? No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I wanna go to Barcelona. I wanna go to uh, Poland. I wanna go to, um, what was this play? Uh, the Canada Tor Toronto, whatever this play. Toronto, Toronto. I wanna go to Toronto. Uh, yeah, and uh, I really, it's in terms of like outside, you know, of US. But in US, I haven't been to so many places yet. It was like, I've been in seven states only, or six states, wherever, and I wanna go to more places in US. I see that you recently went to Dallas. How was your impression of Dallas? Um, I don't know, I've been with some friends and I was there for a photo shoot, which I'm very grateful. The guy re re like reached out to me and I was only in like in the beginning, I had only like 2,500 on my Instagram and he reached out to me and was like, hey, do you wanna do a shoot? And I was like, okay. And I went there to my birthday. You also need a Canada. No, I don't need a Canada anymore because I'll have a green card. I, I don't need a visa, sorry. And uh, yes, and I went to Dallas and I, mostly was in uptown and you know, like this bougie places. And all I heard from people who live there, who live in this bougie place is that it's like, Dallas is trying to be LA, but it's never gonna be LA. It's like a bunch of a hundred, a bunch of a hundred thousand dollars millionaires. But that's what I heard about people, that it's a lot of toxic situation. 
Uh, but besides this, I know some great people from Dallas and some of my friends live in Dallas and I really like the city. I think Skyline in Austin is better than Dallas, so. You also, you come to Quebec. Cool bougie, yes. Hey friend, how are you? Hey Thomas, welcome, welcome guys for new here. Don't forget to put big thumb up, please. Helps a lot. You ever come to Tennessee, you got a place to stay. No funny stuff, just friends. Got an extra bedroom. Thank you, Rick. I'm always like weird about this because I'm I'm really like not the best at staying in some people's places. Like I don't like to put someone in this situation. I don't like, I'm the guy who always needs his restroom. I don't know, so, but I really appreciate the intentions. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so basically, little Dallas is fine, but like, I would not live there. But I feel like there's sometimes for influencer or wherever, like for models, there is much more going on in Dallas than for example in Austin. Cause Austin, there is a lot going on right now. This city grows so much. Even since I moved here in June, like it, it grows so much. And there are a lot of cute guys here in Austin. So yeah. Hope you're doing well. Hi from Orlando. Hey James, welcome to the live. Hi to Orlando as well. The last video you did on TikTok was very cool. You mean the last one where I was red and uh, or when I was like with the guy. Got to go, love you, you're a great art. Have a good night. Thank you so much, Rick. Uh, say hi to Tennessee. Thank you so much for stepping by for a couple of minutes. I'm having hulls. <laughs> That's not sponsored, but... The red one. The red one. Uh, yes, the red one. Okay, that's nice. Because I, I liked it too. Okay, guys, now I want to ask you, since I'm all new to this whole gay world, tell me how old you were when you had your relationships. Like, not only like friends with benefits, but how old you were when you had your first relationships, like monogamy, or if you ever had this. I'm just curious how old you were, because I'm feeling like I'm... Ooh, I'm almost 25 right now. I'm not almost, I'm 24, but... Thank you so much, Nicholas, for stepping by. Okay, so... Thank you, Nicholas, good night. So someone was 24, someone says 26. 18. David was 18, you're so lucky. Yes, I lost some weight, yes. 24, 26, I've never had a boyfriend and I'm a virgin, lol. I can relate. Um, 28, 17, when is your birthday? My birthday is January 2nd. I come out at 16, was my first and second was 23. My last one was 40. How long, like, I'm just curious because gay, gay world is uh, very different. And like 19, but you see guys, you were very young when you had your like first relationship. Well, most of you, like this is kind of cool. It gives me hope. <laughs> I never, I never had, cause you know, I live in Eastern Europe. You know, I heard some people say that it's easier to build relationships in Eastern Europe than build them in America right now, at least. 15 with the girl. Yeah, but uh, okay, gotcha. I had with girl too, but 23 if eight weeks counts as a long term. I mean, it's at least something. Five years. Bonne night, cutie. Bonne night as well, Nicholas. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for stepping by. Uh, yeah, um, you see, I feel like also it's been different now because it was like super closeted even in America than what's going on right now. Like now it's like super open. Even though still like there are so many, uh, so many, a lot of religious people who say that we're all gonna die because of sin or something, but still it's very open now. And before it was like, not a lot of people, they were like mostly in a closet, you know what I mean? So it was like maybe easier, I don't know. I'm just curious, cause I feel like gay world in 2000 was much more fun than now. I don't know. I feel like more people were like, easy going. <coughs> Yeah, but you had the gay relationships while in the closet in Europe. I didn't have gay relationships. Never had a woman. 
Love is love. Are you a professional dancer? Um, not really. I go to dance classes. I used to go when I lived in LA more, but uh, not necessarily. I don't. I'm not a considering myself a professional dancer. Nineteen. I grew up with AIDS in eighties, being very very prevalent. No, I played around, Robert, but I didn't date anyone, you know? I didn't like, of course I played around. <clears throat> I have never had any relationships. You see, Christopher, I can relate. I had a relationship with a girl, and the longest it was like, almost three months, actually. We dated for three months, but uh, it was a terrible experience. This girl I used because I liked the guy, it was terrible. Like, sometimes stuff that I remember, it's very confusing. I knew I was gay when I was 12. I feel like when you were like younger, like um, when it was right, no one was just asking, playing around is a relationship. I don't think playing around is a relationship for me. Relationships, it's when monogamy people spend a lot of time together. Yes, things are much different from they used to be. I held out because I like you. I wanted a relationship not open. Okay. Okay, Thomas, I heard you. Uh, yeah, I was just saying that now it's different than the current gay world is before, you know? And I don't know which one is better, honestly. But also, I feel like a lot of gay people, uh, like, because it was not legal, right? It, it was not even legal, like, till 2015, get a marriage or something. I feel like we're gonna grow, our generation is gonna grow and it's gonna be like taken so much easier. I wanna make a YouTube about it, my opinions, you know? Like I feel like with this much more support, we're gonna overgrow a lot of issues, you know? And uh, it's gonna be so much easier for people in future, especially with common TikTok and everything like this. Things are much better now than before. I agree, but in some cases, like, it's just so not, I don't like to use this word, it's just so, like, if you go to a club or wherever, there are so many gay people who are so much into themselves, you know? And, like, I don't know. There was a little social media, and people made effort to know, to meet. Now it's more like browsing and catalog. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Now it's, you got Tinder, Grindr, everything. It's like a catalog and it's like we are very spoiled human, you know? No no one makes effort to meet. My second and last now found that one, finally. That's nice. I'm in Austin, Texas. What made you move? Uh, Cause I Googled the best city in Texas and it was Austin. The best city in the US. Yeah. I feel like I wanna, wait, very quickly. Sorry guys. Okay, I was just trying to put you a little bit down. I wanna see how it's gonna be. Yeah, I feel like it's better. My best friend came out to me and then I came to him. We had known each other for six years. This is very nice. Too lazy to form relationships, just want to have fun and come on and move on. Had horrible luck with love, but I'm still hopeful and have faith to find a love. You see, I like this. Uh, I like this comment. Let me read it again. Wait, let me read it again. <clears throat> he says, he says, um, had a horrible luck with love but i'm still hopeful and have faith to find love you know like you should still be like not necessarily wait for this but hope is no one is gonna take it from you what kind of coffee do you like i like latte white mocha with hazelnut <coughs> well lots of gays doesn't count relationships Lots of gay doesn't count relationships with guys. 
the cultures look too conservative for that, even if once in Saudi Arabia or Netherlands. I know what you're talking about. People try to rush things, other things, and about just messing around. Uh, well, that's just the gay community in general. Gays are so full of themselves and judgmental, very hard to find a good serious commitment relationships. It's part true, but I don't feel like all of them like this, you know? If you have faith, hand in there. I enjoyed your bathtub dance routine. The sound was very addicting. Yes, the sound is Nossa, Nossa, I see what say me mata. I search you pega, I, I search you pega. It was a very popular song when I lived in Ukraine. Not everyone. Yes, I, I think it's not everyone. It's a lot of people though, you know? When I used to be in the bar, I remember like gay people were taking a lot of drugs in a bar, like literally in front of me. They don't know me, but they were doing this. So it's very weird. It's very weird. But again, it's not everyone. We should have a hope for good people too, so. Because in our, in Ukraine, we have a very judgmental culture when it comes to drugs. That's why for me, like I never did any drugs in my life, so not planning on doing it. <clears throat> same way with straight people. Yes, honestly, straight people have the same problems, but it's just easier for them because they have more efficiency. I think that's, you know, you have cute eyes. Thank you, Christopher, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to put big thumb up, guys. We have 32 people and 26 likes. Someone is cheating. Um, no, we aren't like that, but for us that aren't just hard to find from my experience. Can you translate like this song for us? I don't know, it's a Brazilian song, you know, but it was very popular in... Um, it was very popular in Ukraine. If you are not gonna put me like, I am gonna go to Magic Lady and I'm gonna do something very, very bad. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a uh, part of me, it's just very crazy. And, um, y you know, it's just, part of me is very, very crazy, that's why it's, uh, yeah. If you, if you see me in TikTok lives, I, like, dance and, like, you know, do some, so much crazy stuff. But I feel like uh, this is a warm life, you know, maybe we'll do one, one with wine and dancing and all this stuff, you know. Oh, you see, we got 28 now. So did I. Okay, David, I see you. David Robbie, did you find me on YouTube, right? <clears throat> Brandon here. I appreciate you guys being here. It's very nice to spend this evening with you. It's a Saturday night, you know. David, you got me from YouTube. Gotcha. And also, guys, I want to say thank you. Last time we were here, I don't remember how many subscribers I had. I had like 1,200. It was two weeks ago. And now it's 2,860. So, I got uh, I got partnered with YouTube. And now uh, I can get paid for views, which is very, very cool. Because last time I remember I asked you if you guys can help me get my 4,000 hours of watch time. And we did it, especially like, I know there were a lot of people who were like constantly watching it. I want to shout out to David, he's my friend who was like constantly watching my videos just to help me to get 4,000. You know, it's not a lot, but it's very nice to, you know, because um, I invest a lot of time and invest, like I invested a camera, all this stuff. So I just want to say thank you, because now I'm partner guy. Now you're going to see ads. Sorry, but this is true. Yes, now you're gonna see ads uh, on your uh, YouTube, but you know, you're so adorable, thank you. Your dancing video is really cool, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Uh, have you ever visited Magic Lady before? I never visit, I don't even know. What's your favorite wine? I like white wine, I like Rufino Lumina Pinot Grigio, I like uh, Villa Antinori, mm, I like Cabernet, regular red one. I don't do TikTok or Twitter. Yeah, YouTube is, you know, have different followers for sure. I found your second TikTok. Really? I don't have a second TikTok. I binged watch last night, friend. Sunday morning is Sydney, nice and sunny. Hey Dallas Jonas, welcome from Sydney. Welcome to our cozy life. You have a great apps. Thank you. It's not really good. I lost a lot of weight because of Corona and uh, apocalypses. I may have watched a few videos here and there, but I don't think I helped that much. I don't think so. 
Uh, so happy for you. Thank you so much. Yay. Well, it's because of you and your great personality. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Uh, YouTube. Yeah, I have a plan. Uh, I wanna, cause I was always holding, you know, I was holding, but I think gays have always been into themselves. It's not any worse today, but the acceptance is more widespread now. So it's better today. You see, Eric, I'm so young and like not so much, um, not so much maturing topics of gay people, you know? I'm still learning and it's very, very new for me, like talking like this about gay stuff on YouTube. And I like that I'm, I'm glad everyone supported you and you helped to get to 400,000. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Mm, I was just saying that I'm still learning a lot of like gay stuff, you know, like, cause I was not paying attention to this at all. Like I was not giving a fuck for a little while. Cause like I told you, my first priority was surviving, you know, surviving in America. And now I'm just learning because it's very interesting to see how it was before in 2000 or it was in 90s, you know, or it was in 80s because we don't have this in Ukraine and it's still like not super good. As long as they're targeted gay positive ads, please know that things by Rob are very common. I don't control it. It's YouTube who controls it. I cannot control it. I just, you know, I just can't control it. <laughs> YouTube shows you what they want to show it because of algorithm. So yeah, um, I was just saying uh, that uh, I still don't have a lot of experience, but I do have some experience now since last year, since I was easier and easier with this, you know? And that's why I feel like it's not necessarily to share because I never watched gay YouTubers. I didn't even know they exist. All YouTubers gay that I knew was like James Charles, whatever, but I found so many gay YouTubers and it's very interesting. And I feel like if I would watch them earlier, it would help me s to come out so much faster and like I would not spend so much time, you know? Armpit. <laughs> or maybe, maybe an armpit ad, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so that's why I was like, I'm gonna go do, I see my sore throat is killing me, but. Um, yeah, I was just about to see. Um, I, I need a place where I'm gonna film, but I'm gonna film tomorrow and after tomorrow. So I'm gonna put more and more videos. Just being yourself is the only thing to learn. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I feel like it's very necessary now. You guys, I don't know if you watched this video when I got my Instagram disabled. I feel like now, when is the gay pride in Austin? I don't know, honestly, I don't know. I was like, I have this video on my Instagram got disabled. I was like no filtered at all. It was like all my acne and all my scarves and like on my face, you know, and my hair were like a mess. And I was like, I want to put this because I feel like there is so much fakeness in a lot of people and there's not a lot of true stuff showed as well. Because a lot of people who are on social media, they're same people, you know, and even if they have million subscribers, it doesn't mean they don't struggle. And that's why a lot of people are sad because they see only the, the good side of their lives, right? But I feel it's necessary to show also like real side, not only good side, not only happy moments, you know what I mean? Like some real stuff, like what the fuck? Like, fuck <laughs> America, I'm waiting four years for my documents, you know, like some, some stuff like real stuff. Got to go and eat super, hope you have a wonderful night. Christopher, thank you for coming for TikTok live and for here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I feel like if people would be more honest, other people would not put themselves down so much, you know? I'm still bond from your TikTok. I don't know how it happened. You see, I have so many moderators now on TikTok, five, I guess, and someone could ban you just by mistake or me. I was trying to unban some guy who was asking me, but I couldn't find you. I have learned so much from gay YouTubers, you included. Even though I have some more years of experience, I've been hiding until a year ago. Feel free now. Just be real, that's the best. Exactly, just being real, uh, that's the best. I agree with you guys. So I was just saying that maybe I'm gonna go and film tomorrow, today actually, because my friend just texted me. Um, I've been learning English, did you learn swear words first? I knew swear words since I was two, you know, in English. That's why I like about you is about so open, real and honest. What is Jekyll TikTok? I don't know, honestly. Like, I don't know. Like, Jekyll, I was trying to find you, but I couldn't find you and ban you. Like, I was really trying to, I put like 10 minutes into it or 15 minutes. 
I looked at everyone, but I couldn't find you. <clears throat> I changed my user. Yes, I really, I really tried. I really tried my best. I promise you, I tried my best. I just couldn't find you. Hardly love. Uh, can't go wrong with truth. Yes, exactly. You cannot go wrong with truth. And you know, you see, like this guy who just got this Eric. I have learned so much from gay YouTubers, you included. Even though I have some more years of experience, I have been hiding until a year ago. Feel free now. Same, bro. Like I was, I was not expecting I'm gonna do this stuff, you know. And I was holding all this back. Like, do you guys think? why I didn't, like, why sub YouTuber, like, on po Polish channel also, one of the reasons, because some people started to say, oh, you look, you give me a gay vibe or whatever. And I always thought about topic, but, like, this is my topic, this is, like, where I can talk about, because this is, like, real experience. And I like to, okay, we got 36 people and 33 likes. This is not fair, put big thumb up if you're new here. Or I'm gonna go to Magic Lady and I'm gonna do something bad. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, okay, so I was just saying, that I, after I learned, I've watched so many YouTubers and it helped me a lot, you know, and I didn't know there exist. And I consider myself a guy who did three YouTube channels and two of them failed. One of them worked very okay. This one is working fine now, you know, but I never watched them. And I feel like that's why we need more people to put it out there. And I don't like when it's filtered. I, that was my name changed. <clears throat> I enjoy your TikToks. You're one of the best. I watch all your videos. Jakal, you're still banned from my life. Try to um, give me a comment again. I'm gonna try to unblock to you. Freedom and being yourself is awesome. Yes, and I feel like it's so much important to put not only like, oh, you know, like, um, I don't know, sex stories or like grinder issues. I feel like it's important to tell like stuff. Oh my gosh, like I use the girl to cover my sexuality. Because a lot of guys do this and they can relate, but they don't know that everyone else does it too. And it's like something we need to work on, you know what I mean? Or like I was dating a girl because the guy I liked, he liked her. So in order to not, he, in order for him to not date her, I dated her. And it's terrible, you know, but this is experience and I'm changed now and I'm better now, but this is still, you know what I mean? Like you need to share this with people so maybe like a uh, new generation who is just younger now, you know, they're gonna YouTube it and they're gonna see that there are someone just like them and then this is wrong, this is right, you know, this is someone goes through the same stuff. Jekyll, I'm gonna try to un unbend it, just heartily love. So I don't know guys, but. Lots of gays dated women, it's not bad on you, society can kind of force it through. It makes you more person. I feel like you, I know you, you know? Yeah, exactly. And a lot of guys really have to date girls, and a lot of people are like, I just made this TikTok recently, I am bisexual, I am considering my, myself bisexual, and it's like, so when did you have your last girlfriend? I, when I was 17, and how old are you now? I am 24. I was like, it's like, you know, but a lot of people just, you know, put themselves in this bisexual bubble, so they, uh, like, uh, how do you say it, so they're like, they, like, have a choice, or like, or like my last YouTube video about bisexual experience with my friend, like, ex. The only marriage proposal I had was for a woman. But are you gay or you're not? <clears throat> safety. What do I mean safety? Oh yeah, safety. Exactly, sorry. And I was like saying uh, a lot of like bisexual guys, like they're just doing this only because they wanna, you know, have the, you know, this life. But they still gonna fuck guys on the side, so I don't know. It's hard. <clears throat> It's hard. And also when I made a, were you raised with a religion? I was, but it was not this uh, super pressured. Like I went to church maybe four times in my life. So it's like my grandparents more believe in this. My mom, like she believes in it, but she doesn't really care. You know what I mean? 
it's not forced like in east ukraine is less forced for, than for example in west ukraine west ukraine is gonna be like uh, small towns in america <laughs> also i have a question would you rather guys to see me live because i want to do live at least once per week on the youtube would you rather me to do live on saturday or sunday i'm curious if you guys can comment down below right now for the people who are here for a long time, you know, I would really appreciate if you guys comment right now. Being gay is in progress. And most of the people are facing the denial period. Exactly. And some people are just stuck. Saturday or Sunday, guys. <coughs> Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Because I feel like last time we had more people and less subscribers, but it was Sunday. But I was more prepared for sure. Saturday, Sunday, 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 Sun. You see, there is most most of the people want to do Sunday. <clears throat> Saturday, but most of the people say Sunday is better. I still I see one, two Saturday, three Saturday, and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, but I was just trying to you know do like trial again. I'm still learning. I'm curious if I can connect my camera. Um, if you do Sunday, you can call it church chat with heart. <laughs> uh, if you choose Sunday, please an hour earlier. Okay, I heard you. LOL. But on Sunday, I feel like also more people want to stay longer, you know? A lot of people, because it's not necessarily that you're going to watch me for two hours. It's like you can cook, you know, and just listen to it and you can do your stuff and just listen it just to feel like you're not alone like that's all i do all the time that's why i'm listening to a lot of youtubers sometimes or like when i don't want to listen to the book you know if you go sunday can you bring snacks <clears throat> i probably can bring snacks but i like i say i would bring snacks but it's just my third throat if you do sunday can you bring snacks we will see also how do you guys like the slides I wanna show. I wanna. I wanna try something right now. Let me try some. Wah! Okay, don't don't drop. I watch your videos every day. Brandon, you're incredible. Thank you so much. I know you've been here for a while. I know you've been here for a while. And Thomas, other YouTubers don't post on Sunday. But if I go to my analytics, uh, Sunday is the best day. Too fast for cozy chat. They're too fast. You look very good with the lighting. You think they're too fast for a cozy chat? I just don't know how to change them. Sorry, guys. Yes, the light was from Amazon. I mean, I don't know how to change them now. I don't want to spend time on this now, but I'll figure out. <laughs> they don't have remote. I don't think they do. Oh, they do have remote. You're so smart. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Sorry. Like, this is the remote. You think uh, your hair is growing out? I do like it. You were hot before with longer hair. Thank you. The lights look... So I have like this one, right? I don't know how to do this. I just, I'm just lost. Oh, I know speed, wait. This is speed, right? Sorry guys. I'm so bad with technologies. Why are they not working?
Please pull out the plastic sheet from the battery compartment before using this remote. You know why? Because I don't read before. I'm just trying before. Oh, guys, I think I'm, I think I got it now. There are instructions as well. One of the languages might be in New York. You can read LOL. I don't read the instructions, Robert. Uh, it's not me. Does it have a manual? I, it has two of them because it's too light. Well, he's not in general. Well, he's hot in general. Probably needs batteries. Does it have a manual? It has a manual. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Doesn't work. I think they're slowed down, no? No, I'm just... What does it mean, just don't pull out to some wait? Wait. Oh my god, it did work, wait. I found one, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna turn off one. Wait, wait, wait. Wait guys, sorry. Okay, guys, I got it, look. So I got one of them. If it wasn't Digimon Japanese, he would read the manual. And that's how I get paid. When shit didn't work in rich people houses, they call me, I read the direction and make. <laughs> well, I'm not rich for sure, but wait. So I got this, I turn them off, okay? Wait, uh, and if it, wait, bam. Let's do less speed. You guys think it's less speed now or no? Okay, this is flash. Stop. This is music. Hey. Bum. Okay. Okay, one second, guys. Please, one second. Bum. What's wrong? Ah, okay. This is... What about this? Do you guys think this is... No, this is fast. This is... This is slower, right? Or no? Do you guys think this is slower? Okay, what is A1? Okay, you see, I can choose. This is slower, right? You guys think it's slower or no? Yes, a little slower. Okay, this is how I turn off this is how I choose uh, the lights. Okay, I think if it's cozy light, it should be like a little bit... Um... <laughs> Someone texted, the light was fine. <laughs> Art, come back, the light was fine, just chill, bro. Okay, wait, uh, where is DMX? Okay. I feel like this is gold, cool, right, for now. And let's let's do this one. Blue or red? Blue, red is good. So you mean this is good right now, right? What do you think right now is good or no? Okay. And let's do this here. Okay, I feel like it's better now, right? It's like red and red and um, wait, let me try to do something. <clears throat> what do you feel like this? How do you feel about this lighting? Do you guys think it's more cozy? It's Christmas time. 
Do you guys think it's more cozy when it's like a uh, turn off light or no? It's not as frantic. What do you mean it's not as frantic? It's fine now. Yeah, people who just joined, we were not doing this for the past 45 minutes. I just did it for the past five minutes. People who just joined, just don't be scared. <clears throat> It is slower, but I can, I can hear like this one. Guys, you can see me now. Did I come back to life? That's very annoying. I'm I'm tired because I asked my roommate to not call me, you know? I'm asking my roommate to not call me and she did call me. That's annoying as fuck. And it's, uh, we lost some viewers now. It's fine. I was just trying to, you know. Well, welcome back guys. I need to figure out how to do this from uh, my camera in order, you know, to process better. Next time use the camera that you bought. But I don't know how to connect, it doesn't connect, you know? I need to just Google it. I need to put some effort and Google it and I'll do better. That's why I need computer. Do you guys think it's better now with the turn off light or no. It's Canon G7XII. Well, the USB doesn't connect. So, uh, I need to probably buy like something, you know? It's Wi-Fi enabled and it was made for YouTube videos and lives. It is Wi-Fi enabled, yeah. Well, next time I'll do it with my camera. I'm gonna probably figure out camera right after this live. No, I can't connect it by USB because it doesn't have USB, but it does have Wi-Fi. So, I'm not curious if it's gonna be better quality or no. All right guys, what are you guys gonna do? And we're live 58 minutes. I was trying to figure out, and I'm still figuring out. I already took and played with her and I recorded it. So it's getting better. Yes, we have been live for 59 minutes. And picture gone blurry. We've been live for 59 minutes and I just wanna thank you guys for everyone who came here. I was planning to do this live Maybe I'll do one more live during the week because I need to figure out and uh, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go figure out camera now and I'm gonna go uh, check some TikTok and everything. Thank you guys for joining here. 
for coming by and stopping by and it was very nice to see you. I'm gonna save this live. If you didn't put big thumb up, put the big thumb up, please. Uh, I'm gonna try to do more of this. Thank you everyone who came here and who was here from the very beginning, who just came here. So, um, got my thumbs up. Thank you, yeah. Uh, thank you everyone who just came here. You're very handsome, thank you and see you. Yeah, I'm just uh, one of, I'm very grateful. We had some good, you know, conversations here today. Thank you now. Have a good day. Craig was here. Hey, Craig. Look forward to next one. Robert Marmo, thank you so much. Eric, thank you so much. David, Serkan, Joe, Robert, uh, Experiment 625. Uh, who was? Brandon Vickery, PS, Dallas Jonas. Uh, what's texting here? Uh, Nick, Nick Troyland. Brandon Vickery, I told Thomas Wallingsford, Alex Berg. Um, who was here again? Sorry, I'm just trying to see. Brandon Vickery. <laughs> mm, trying to see who was here again. Dustin. So we had some great night today. You pronounce my name well. Thank you. All right. Uh, see you guys later. Alligator, I'll see you soon. Thank you for everything. Joy, thank you so much for constant support. Joe, Joe Goodman, thank you so much. All right, guys, I'll see you later um, soon. My name is Art, I'm 24 years old, and I'll see you in the next live.